Welcome aboard the bio train. In this video we're going to do a Punnett square of a cross where you have a dominant allele and a recessive allele controlling this particular trait. We're going to look at short hair and long hair in cats. In this example short hair is dominant and is represented by a capital H over long hair which is recessive and is represented by a lowercase h. In this cross, a heterozygous short-haired male is mated with a heterozygous short-haired female. So the first thing you want to do to figure out the possible genotypes of the offspring is to figure out the genotypes of the parents. And you need to know what heterozygous means. Heterozygous means that the parents have one of each of the two alleles. In this case, a big H and a little h. So the male has a big H and a little h, and the female has the same genotype, which is heterozygous, which is a big H and a little h. Once you know the genotypes of the parents, you can plug them into the Punnett square and figure out the possible genotypes of their offspring. So you put one parent's genotype on the top of the Punnett square, and the other parent's genotype on the side of the Punnett square, and then you do the crosses. You usually write the capital dominant allele first. So in the first case, you get homozygous dominant, big H, big H. In this case, you get heterozygous, big H, little h. In this next case, another heterozygous, big H, little h. And in the last case is homozygous recessive, little h, little h. Now you have all the information you need to determine the phenotypic ratios and the genotypic ratios of the offspring for this particular cross. So let's look at the phenotypic ratios first. In this case, short hair is the dominant phenotype. So you look at the cross and you can see that three out of the four possibilities are going to have the short haired trait. That's 75% short haired in this particular cross. 25% of the time, one out of four, the offspring are going to be expected to express the recessive trait, which in this case is long hair. You can also figure out the genotypic ratios. Homozygous dominant is one out of four times, or 25%, you would expect the offspring to inherit the genotype homozygous dominant. Two out of four times, or 50% of the time, you would expect the offspring to inherit the heterozygous genotype. And one out of four times, or 25% of the time, you would expect the offspring to inherit the homozygous recessive genotype. This is a quick example of a simple cross with a dominant and recessive single gene trait. I hope that helps you stay comfortably seated on the bio train.